Hello guys, welcome to Disney Dreamlight Valley. So I've been doing some testing all day today and I have some crazy things to report to you. Things that I haven't seen anybody talk about and it's absolutely mind-blowing. So there is uh, basically these two new potions on the workbench and they are absolute game changer. There's Miracle Growth Elixir and there is even more miraculous Growth Elixir. Now, to craft both of these, we're gonna need uh, some Vitalis Crystals, Rich Soil, and Dream Light. Now, this is a pretty expensive recipe. R getting Rich Soil and Crystals is not easy, especially Rich Soil. Crystals are a little bit better. So now, I've been farming Rich Soil and Crystals all day today, and I learned a lot of fascinating things. Thing number one, Rich Soil drops from absolutely any crop and pumpkins versus wheat makes no difference so if you want to farm a lot of rich soil faster do wheat because it grows the fastest second th second thing i learned i've i've seen actually people in the comments saying that you have to be farming with a with a buddy with a uh, farming villager in order to get rich soil that is absolutely not true in fact having farming buddy is not gonna increase your yields of rich soil. I've been testing it for hours. I've, I've tried thousands and thousands of uh, uh, of crops. I farmed thousands of crops, and I can confirm with 100% certainty: farming bodies do not duplicate your rich soil drops. I've never, in hours and hours of farming wheat, got a single drop of rich soil. From Mickey, not a single one. Mickey is my farming buddy, so it doesn't. If you're farming just for rich soil, it doesn't matter if you have farming buddy or not. It will make zero difference. In fact, if you're farming wheat to get rich soil, I would suggest you not use farming buddy because it's just gonna create much more work for you to um, to run around and collect all that extra wheat. And wheat doesn't even sell for that much. So honestly, to save yourself time, just do it without farming buddies. You're gonna get the same amount of rich soil. I learned it a hard way. Well, you're welcome. You have, I hope I saved you some time. Uh, but Vitalis crystals, however, you do wanna have a mining buddy because they do duplicate it. So basically this crystal drops from rocks that doesn't have gem veins on it. So if you don't see any gem veins, it's very likely, I don't think it's guaranteed, but it's very likely that a rock is gonna drop you a crystal in the end. And if you do have a mining body with you, they are gonna duplicate that crystal. So definitely take your mining body to, your, uh, to the mines to mine Vitalis crystals. Obviously they come out from these rocks and also the rich soil comes out from just you farming again doesn't don't don't use buddies unless you are actually farming for money if you're just farming for rich soil do not bother with having a farming buddy okay with that out of the way uh, what are these potions even about i've been talking so much about them well let me show you we're gonna craft one of these I haven't actually used them yet, but I've heard a lot of amazing things. And we're going to craft two of these. Now, let's talk about Dreamlight real quick. So, in my opinion, the biggest bottleneck of this potion is going to be a Dreamlight. 2,000 Dreamlight for the smaller potion. My bad. 1,000 for a smaller potion is not that little. It's pretty much you have to complete a bunch of Dreamlight duties. And unless you're doing it on purpose, you will probably be making some Dreamlight from just randomly accidentally com completing dreamlight duties that's how i i got 30,000 dreamlight but if you just started the game do not spend your dreamlight on this spend all of your dreamlight on unlocking new realms and new regions after you unlocked everything then that's going to be the only way you can spend dreamlight and i think it's worth it so before we talk about if, if it's even worth it to, to craft these potions let's go test them out so what these potions do they upgrade your watering can in a way that it will grow your uh, crops faster. So let me demonstrate. There is a difference between the cheaper one and the most ex more expensive one. I'm not sure exactly what the difference is. Yeah, that's what we're going to be testing right now. I'm going to plant a bunch of pumpkins and we're going to start the testing. 
All right, I just planted a bunch of pumpkins. Oh, Scar, stop running on my pumpkins. Uh, there is 10 pumpkins in each row. So I'm gonna, first of all, let's see if it's, what does it say on it? Add this elixir to your watering can and just sprinkle of it will make your crops grow instantly. There is enough here for 10 uses. Okay, and here there is 25 uses. So it's exactly two and a half times more expensive for, for the bigger elixir. So there's no difference which one you craft, to be honest. So it's, it's measures in uses, not in plants, I am assuming. So let's, let's use this one right now. So, so it's starting to glow. I wonder if I have a counter somewhere. Anyway, let's see if uses matter. So this, in this row, I'm going to be trying to water seven each time. This is the maximum you can grow. And they just grow freaking instantly. This is amazing. Boom. Look at this. Only 10 pumpkins. So it is pumpkins. Not uses. So it lies. It's lying on the potion. It says 10 uses, but it's 10 crops. You are grinding insane amounts of ingredients that are so hard to grind for to be able to instantly grow 10 crops. Basically, one crop per one soil, one crystal, and 100 dream light. You're only instantly growing one crop. Let's let, let's pop the big one up. Actually, I'm wondering. I have this uh, orb of nurturing growing there. Let me go try put this on. I probably should have done this. I'm an idiot. I wonder if I can water it if it's already watered. Let's try. So I can't. I can't do anything now. I, I'm stuck. I should have used this. <laughs> I should have used this before. Should have used this before I watered it. I, I thought I, I... I don't know. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Uh, so which one did I... Did I use a big one right now? Oh, yeah. I, I did use the big one. This one took a bunch of grinding. So, again, let's do uh, six at a time. So I get... Because it, I guess it doesn't matter. Uh, it's seven here. So we got 13, 19. And here only five out of six... No, all six should be able to grow. And now it's done. From now on, it's a normal thing. So 25 pumpkins. Again, the same ratio. All that grind <laughs> was to grow 25 pumpkins instantly. Again, pumpkins is the longest growing crop in the game. So you basically saved yourself four hours. But did you, though? Imagine how many of the, re of the resources... It's going to take you to grow your entire field. And some people have enormous fields. So now let's talk about it. Is this potion even worth it? Miracle, you say. Nothing miracle about it. In my opinion, the only things that this is useful for is maybe some of those quest crops that takes days to grow, if it even works on him. I, I, I don't know. I honestly thought I used it on my... Uh, on the other crop, because it, it was part of the quest, right? And it still takes day to grow, so I, I don't know. I don't know what's going on there, but... Spending one soil that, by the way, from you will probably drop around one soil from harvesting... From my experience, I would say the ratio is about one soil out of 25 crops. Again, it's just from my experience. It could be less, it could be more, I, I don't know for sure. But if I were to estimate 1 out of 25, so it takes 1 to grow 1 pumpkin instantly, but it takes 25 pumpkins to, to get 1 back. So that makes no sense. Soil is incredibly difficult to get. And if you're thinking, is it worth it to just farm a bunch of wheat really quickly to get enough soil and then use it on your pumpkins? Absolutely not. Let's just think about it for a second. What does it actually do? It just skips the growing time. You still need to do all this time-consuming steps of planting it, of buying the seeds, of harvesting, of watering. You literally have to do all of the steps. 
the only step it's skipping is actually the step where you don't have to do anything. Those... F okay, it might, okay, it, it does skip you the second watering. Fine. It skips you the second, second watering. But, like, how many... Like, what's the rush? Just water your pumpkins regularly and come back in two hours, water them again. You can do lots of stuff for two hours. Instead, it's going to take you more time to grind for uh, the soil and the crystals. I just don't see absolutely any point in this. And now I'm also starting to think the way they're going to introduce the, uh, the upgrade to your pickaxe. I think it's going to be temporary as well. I think they're probably going to make you pay those crystals and soil to be able to break a, a certain amount of bones. I don't know, just, that's just my guess. Maybe, maybe it's not true. Maybe Scar will permanently upgrade it, but... It, it, if you look at the uh, at the crystal, it says may be able to improve your royal tools. It doesn't it doesn't just say watering can. So I think they're implying that you'll be able to have similar upgrades on the rest of your tools, which honestly I kind of predicted. I, I I said that that would be cool if we had a potion that could make your uh, pickaxe break rocks instantly for a while. For example. And this is kind of the same thing, but with farming. So I kind of predicted it, but honestly, for the amount of grinding, like, if this potion took one rich soil, one crystal, and like a hundred dream, so basically 10% of what it takes now, it might be worth it to, to use it. Otherwise, I, I don't see the point whatsoever. Even if you have excess soil and crystals and dream light from mining and playing the game, I would still just... It's just not worth even the time of crafting the freaking thing because you're gonna need so much to do your whole field. And if you can't do your whole field at once, then what's the point? You're gonna have to waste a bunch of time to level it out and then some pumpkins will grow faster. It's just gonna be a total mess. Just don't, in my opinion, don't even bother with this potion. It's super cool to see your pumpkins grow immediately, but it just doesn't... It's just, it's just not worth it. It's too expensive, it's too grindy, and... Just while your pumpkins are grow, go do the quests. Go, uh, I don't know, furnish a room or something. Do something fun. Don't just grind for these ingredients. Anyway, I hope, I hope this video was helpful. I haven't seen anybody talking about these potions. And maybe because they're so bad, nobody even considered using them. But, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm not impressed. I'm not impressed at all. It's a nice addition, I guess. Maybe if there was some easier ways to get those ingredients, it would be worth it. But for now, I think it's a total waste of resources and time. Thank you for watching. Let me know your comments in the comments, your opinion about these potions. And I'll see you tomorrow with a brand new 4,000 subscribers special. Mm, it's going to be beautiful. I designed an amazing piece of clothing. You're going you're gonna to want to see that. So subscribe not to miss it. I'll see you in the next one. Take care.